It's Wednesday, October the 28th, 2020. This is the day in the church in the calendar that we set aside for the commemoration of St. Simon and St. Jude apostles. Now, they are not the most prominent apostles or most well-known, but nevertheless, they were faithful apostles of the Lord who gave themselves to preaching and teaching the word that uh, Christ had handed over to them. And so, therefore, we give thanks to the Lord for their faithful preaching and teaching. And likewise, we ask that the Lord would make us faithful in our preaching preaching and teaching. And that funnels very well in to today's devotional topic. On Wednesdays, we always are uh, taking a look at the small catechism. And most specifically, we just started in last week into taking a look at the Lord's Prayer. So today we're ready to take a look at the first petition to the Lord's Prayer. And that first petition in other words, you could say, what is the first request? What is the first need that Jesus teaches us to have? Well, it's the need for the name of God. And there is a lot that the Lord packs into his name. There is wealth untold. But the Lord gives us his name in holy baptism. But that's not the only way in which he uses his name. That's a great gift to you. Let's take a look at some of the others, especially as the Catechism rightly and faithfully leads us through this very thing. So that when we pray, hallowed be thy name, or to colloquialize it a little bit, Lord, make your name holy, we recognize that God's name is holy in and of itself. There is nothing, it can be nothing other than holy. So what are we actually praying? Well, we're praying that the holiness of God's name would be found in me. Make his name holy in my life. So what does that actually look like? Well, it's characterized by two chief things. The first one is that God's name is treated as holy when the word of God is taught in its purity. In other words, when teaching that happens by the authority of his name, when that teaching happens in purity, then God's name is hallowed. This is a good reminder about why we give thanks for those apostles, St. Simeon and, uh, and St. Jude, because they faithfully spoke by the authority of God's name, teaching the word of God in its purity. God's name was hallowed in their life. So that's one part of it. The second part would be this. God's name is hallowed when we live accordingly, when we live by his word, because we bear God's name. God put his name upon you in holy baptism. So how you live your life reflects upon his name. You've been given that holy name, so therefore we are called to live a holy life that honors his holy name. Now, that's a reminder of my daily fall into sin. Daily, I break God's word. I go against God's word. I sin on a daily basis, but yet the Lord restores me by the purity of his name, by giving me that baptismal grace anew, by forgiving my sin, so that I might continue to live in the holiness of his name. And that's really part of living according to the holiness of God's name, is by continually turning back to him for forgiveness when daily I am in need of it. Now, we've just talked about how God's name is hallowed. What about the opposite? What does it look like for God's name to be profaned? Well, God's name is profaned when either we teach or live contrary to, the, to God's word. Now, that makes perfect sense based upon what it means to hallow God's name. So, profaning God's name when you teach contrary to God's word. Now, this is a good reminder to especially those who are put into a position of teaching regularly, pastors and others alike, that we are to be vigilant to ensure that what we are teaching is not our own ideas, not my own hobby horse, but simply what God has given us in his word. But it's also a reminder to each and every one of us that our lives are to be marked by fidelity to Christ and his word, doing what he calls upon us to do. But rejoicing even that when we fall short of that, when we fall into sin, he delights to forgive us, to restore his holy name within us. Let us pray. Lord God, our Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and praise for your holy name that you have given us in holy baptism. Be it ever at work in us that we might speak and live in accordance with that holy word. And when we do not, bring us to repentance so that we might rejoice in the holiness of your name, given us anew in holy absolution. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you.